Bruh. Hey guys, and I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Uh, today we'll be playing a 2v2 battle, of course. This is going to be a random ally. Uh, and this map is going to be the Coast of Claws. And yeah, thankfully I'm on the side where I don't have to go for the navy. Uh, since my navy is extremely weak, I really don't want to want to really like go for it. Okay, so we can scout out good. Collecting the containers, of course. Ooh, double container. Nice. Okay, so it looks like uh, those guys didn't really come over here to get any containers. And might just be lag on their part, or anything like that. And so hiding an infantry over there and over here. Uh, so if the game extends to a certain point in time, we might be able to use that. Okay, I'm building a gun tower over here to prevent any kind of deltas from landing on my beach and scouting my base. Okay, and then upgrading my HQ to go for a higher level, of course. Okay, so my ally didn't micro that time in really good, and so he wasn't able to get that container. Okay, let's see, let's see it again. And yeah. It was bad micro again. So now that green has a shipyard out, we might suspect Vikings or anything. Okay, but because since this is a late shipyard, I highly doubt that he was planning on getting uh, containers with that. Okay, so yeah, my partner's not doing that bad. Uh, what is this? A construction yard. Okay, so my partner is upgrading his infrastructure, of course, as any. As any guy should do. Guy or girl. Okay. As you guys can see, I have seven supply centers here. And I'm getting an eighth and a ninth supply center. Okay. I'm I'm basically just getting supply centers, so I don't have to worry about supply ever. Since I'm gonna be constantly blue boosting. No red boosts, no gold boosts. Just blue boosts. For supply. Okay. Nice. Okay, so my ally has a Jaguar out very, very somewhat fast. Okay, and if you guys saw that, one rifleman versus one uh, assault. My rifleman is maxed, okay? But it was, my rifleman was easily able to kill one assault, so yeah. Okay, fast forward a little bit, so yeah. I can go for an HQ level 4, and where is it? There it is. Okay, laying naval mines is always a good idea, since the enemy will not suspect it. Sniper tower destroying that gun tower, nice. Okay, and so a little attack with the JCP, but enemy just has way too many uh, infantry units, and so we just have to fall back. Okay. Of course, I have a dragonfly atop this hill, so I can see what the enemy is producing. So, as of right now, we can see infantry coming from barracks and Zeus along the way. So, yeah, we can easily tell what the enemies are doing. So, if you guys play on the Coast of Claws, always have a, a dragonfly or a cyclone atop this hill, because inf information is always good uh, even on this hill it would be nice now if there are any hills nearby enemy bases that you can uh, take advantage of that is always a good opportunity although the only real hill is this one and this one so yeah okay so I'm HQ level 4 upgrading my avia factories to level 3 to support bombers of course, I love bombers. Bombers are so epic. Okay, seeing how Green is expanding his defenses over here, we have to take a quick and decisive maneuver because Confederation defenses are super strong and once uh, they get a solid defense line, it'll be hard to penetrate. Okay. So we are producing Albatross ja uh, and Jaguars. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. JCP fighting uh, Zeus and heavy assaults. 
Okay, so their force firing is... I mean, it's okay. It's okay. But... Yeah, we only have like three Jaguars left. They have so many Zeus, they could just ram it in. Yeah, like that. I don't know why they're... Why they're, uh... Retreating. There's only two Jaguars. E you can easily take down this on me. But okay. Okay, whatever. Alright, so... There's a nice alligator, okay, dealing good defenses. I mean, not defenses, damage. Nice. Okay, will he be able to take down that HQ? The fourth level of HQ, ooh, torrent. I think he will, I think he will. Pass forward. Come on. Okay, now there's multiple zoos, come on. Nice. Nice. That was epic. Well, yeah. Okay, so now Blue is a little crippled. He cannot produce any units since his HQ is destroyed. But, yeah, there's a construction yard over here, so... I would be expecting an HQ, like, over here, or maybe over here. Okay. Wait, bombers are going. Nice, okay, let's see, let's see. Alright, so I decide to bomb this construction yard. Uh, obviously, because I don't want blue merging his base into green because otherwise that would make uh, these alligators a little bit obsolete now i think my ally could do with his alligators is move it over here because the torpedo platform cannot fire through this uh beach and so that's uh yeah that's a good tactic to use although i don't think my ally would utilize this uh later in the battle and torrent fire Okay, confeds are camping, raining torrent fire. Yeah, not really an easy position to attack. Okay, where did I bomb? Okay, I bombed right here apparently, because I saw a HQ building. And there's another HQ building here. Okay, so am I going to attack it? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh wait, no. Boom. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Took down two admin buildings along with an anti-air tower, so that is good. Okay, just sending in two bombers to see how much damage I can deal to a level 3 HQ. Uh, especially since I need to know uh, their relative upgrades, so I can predict how many bombers it will take in order to destroy their buildings. Of course, uh, that's very important to know as an Avia player, because if you make a mistake, you will easily be able to uh, repair. Okay, Albatross going, let's see, let's see this. Boom, nice. A power plant in supply center down. Okay, so it looks like there's no anti-air at this point. There's only several typhoons, but the real anti-air is over here. So I don't I hold on I hold off on attacking green because I don't want to confront these anti-air towers. Just several typhoons. Okay, so it looks like he put the reconstruction boost since he's building multiple uh, administrative buildings. Okay, so meanwhile. My partner is holding off uh, against here and probing the defenses, which is a good idea. Nice. Four bombers, and that HQ is gone. Nice. Ooh. Albatross doing a 360 before it drops. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, this Albatross loves to flex. Just like flexing. Imagine doing a 360 before dropping the payload. That must be insane. Okay, what is this? Bunker? Yeah, that's a bunker. Imba bunker. Okay, so... Okay, so... Boom. Just dealing more damage to administrative buildings. Uh, it's what I do best. Of course. 
I could host a bigger fleet of bombers, but I don't decide to since I am mass producing jaguars over here. Okay, and I see my ally going in for the attack, but I said to stop so I can bomb this area. Boom. One construction yard and two torrents destroyed. Might have even killed a third. And another HQ is destroyed. So, with, that, with barely any anti-air, these guys are suffering big losses. Okay, so now it's time to go in. Okay, but torrent fire is raining. And so I decide to support him with all my jabbers. Okay, so let's go. I siege them for a second. And then I decide to quickly move my units over here. So I can finish blue off. Since there are no defenses there. Okay. And since blue doesn't have an HQ, he literally cannot make a single unit or build anything to defend. So it's good game for blue. Okay. And is it good game for green? Is that the question? Yes, it is good game for green. Okay, so he's just destroying his own base. And so it's good game. The thing you have to keep in mind in this map is that if you have a presence of navy, you will win. Like, it's a fact. Because literally this player is surrounded by navy. And so going for navy is a really good idea. And since my partner utilized the, the uh, navy side of this map, it was actually a good idea. This is a good a good picture for a thumbnail, so I might utilize this one. Okay, but basically, if you take advantage of the terrain, you will win. And in this battle, yeah, it's all about the navy. Maybe even the nukes. Okay, but good game. They played well. Uh, didn't expect much. Okay, wait. Wait for it. What is this? Is that gone? Yeah, that's gone. So, good game. Okay. Victory.